not yet. All right, at Trader Joe's again. Getting these kids going is always a struggle because we need snacks and waters and passies and all the things. All right, you ready for this, Kaya? Go get your cart. You don't want that one? No, because it's too big. <laughs> it's the same as the ones inside, silly girl. That time of year, huh? Uh oh. Oh, Kaya. Mommy, what are those things? They're cinnamon brooms. They smell really good. Smell. Mmm, yummy. You want one? Yeah. Okay. Put it in your cart. Okay. Oh, this one is good. Yeah, you can have that one. Uh, you want some snacks too? These are the cookies that I made. Ooh, and this is one of my favorite finds. These are so, so yummy, and they do not have them all year long. Definitely stocking up on these. Ooh, and they also have the pumpkin flavor. All right. I'm not a huge fan of pumpkin, but pumpkin spice, I will do. More? You're still eating one. Cold? Okay, we will hurry. We're almost done. You do. Nice. More cucumbers. Always get organic. It is, sweetie. I love that they have a dairy-free stuff now, but you still need to watch the sugar. There's still 12 grams of sugar, 11 which is added. I mean, it's cashew base, and then in that, the main ingredient is sugar, basically. So, yeah, staying away, staying away. More cookies? What do you want? <laughs> For your birthday? Okay, that's, a, that's next year. So everything. Remember where we're parked? Okay, that way. Keep going. Look both ways before you cross the street. Alright. Okay, I'm with you. Alright, success. What's your favorite part about grocery shopping?
grocery haul was a little bit smaller than normal, actually. We spent about 250 bucks, which isn't crazy. I think that is pretty realistic um, for a week or so. We did get some pumpkins, so today is the first full official day of fall. Yesterday, fall started. So I wanted to get in the spirit a little bit, although hanging on to summer here is supposed to be almost 100 today. Ty is joining me, of course. Cannon's over there eating another cookie like you saw in the video when we were going through the store. Uh, I have that recipe up. It's super simple, just some oats, banana, a little bit of gluten-free flour. Check it out, super easy, and I make them all the time, so it's like a quick, while you're in the grocery store, eating a snack, or while you're using a high chair, eating a snack so we can get stuff done. But anyhow, we are gonna go through this quick fall grocery haul. Spoiler alert, I'm not huge on pumpkin, so I didn't get a lot of the pumpkin stuff. There's so many pumpkin, like, infused foods these days. Um, I walked into Trader Joe's and it seems like every other place that I looked, there was pumpkin something. So I didn't get a lot of that, so for those who love pumpkin, I'm sorry. Uh, but for all of you who don't, this is good because there's not a lot of pumpkin stuff. Besides the decorations, love the pumpkin decor. Super fun and just stuff. You know, put some of those out, call it a day. So per usual, we're gonna do the frozen stuff so I can put it away and get into everything else. Bought this vegan meatless pizza. My kids really like it. It's super cheap, I wanna say maybe like seven bucks. So compared to a lot of them, this is a really good deal. Maybe even it was $5.99, I don't recall, $5.99 or $6.99. And then this one's for my husband because he does like meat. It's uncured, which is a little bit healthier. And this, I wouldn't say is the healthiest thing in the world, but there is protein in it. I mean, for the whole piece, it's 22 grams. One, it's one third of a serving, uh, so there's three. So for all my kids, this is about what they would eat. 250 calories, seven grams of protein, three grams of sugar. None of it's added, which is great. So, we're gonna put those away. Let me see what else we got that's frozen. Not really a lot of frozen stuff, actually. I did get this chicken, again, six grams of sugar, five servings in this. My husband and son absolutely love this. It's a quick after soccer game, 9.30 at night kind of a meal. I much prefer that than them going to In-N-Out or Whataburger or something, which they do too often for my liking. Petite frozen peas. The petite frozen peas are perfect because they're smaller. I have bought the organic peas that they sell before and they're a lot larger. So for Cannon, just to eat them, pop them in his mouth, doesn't really work, so. I will actually give Cannon some of those right now. Yeah. Throw the rest in here. Oh, and then these little cones. So these are really tiny. We bought them the last time. They're like maybe this big. I think there's like six grams of sugar per one little cone, which is a great deal. After dinner. Okay. And then organic frozen strawberries, great for smoothies. It's like $2.69 a bag. And then I did, did buy some chicken sausage just to put on pasta or something when they want some meat. Again, I'm not a huge meat eater, meat eater, but these are minimally processed, no artificial ingredients and no preservatives. So it's better than most. So we are going to put this away and give Cannon some peas and we'll be back. The one cold thing I did forget was this. This is coconut whipped cream. Yum. My kids absolutely love this. I just give them a little squirt in their mouth when they've done something really good and it makes all the difference. It's very inspiring actually. It's like, go clean the playroom and I'll give you a squirt of this. Okay. Right? Yeah. <laughs> when we're done. Okay. All right, let's get into the bag. So. We love these dipper chips. They are like Fritos, but way healthier, way better for you. It's organic corn, which is super important when you buy corn. You do wanna buy organic always because corn is mainly GMO if it's not organic. So these are fantastic. I also bought some bread. This is just a wheat bread. Um, I try to buy sprouted breads when I can. I really like Dave's Killer Wheat Bread from Costco but we're not at Costco, so this is, I feel like, the best that they have there. And then this is a treat bread, so 
There is a bit of sugar in here, 12 grams per slice. The slices are pretty thick though. So again, this is like a dessert with some coconut oil, really good. Yeah. Plantain chips. My family loves plantain chips, so do I. There is one gram of fiber in them, which isn't a lot, but there's no sugar, even though they taste kind of sweet. And then seven grams of fat, but it's a healthier fat. It is made with oleic sunflower oil, which is high in omega-6s, so just make sure you balance out omega-3s and omega-6s. Ideally, you want more omega-3s. So many foods have omega-6s in it, like this. So you don't have to stay away from sunflower oil altogether, but it's just it should not be the primary thing. So when you eat a lot of fried foods such as this, it does raise them pretty substantially and pretty quickly. So keep that in mind, but it doesn't mean you have to stay away from it. And then squashes, right? Squash. Move your feet, please. Why? I, I am in love with squash season because I put them on salads. I love the mix of warm and cold. So like a warm roasted squash on a cold bed of lettuce is delicious. This is Delicata. I think that's how you pronounce it. D-E-L-I-C-A-T-A, -E something like that. Comes in different sizes. The outsides are a little bit different, but they look really good if you slice them and then roast them and they taste absolutely delicious. You can eat the skin on them, which is also nice. It saves you from peeling and like other squashes, like butternut squash, for example, you need to peel, pumpkin peel. I mean, I guess some people eat the outside, but it's just not the best. This one tastes great, so you can eat it. And then granola, my kids really like granola. This one has pecan pieces and maple syrup. So there is 11 grams of sugar in two thirds of a cup, so this one has pecans, but it doesn't have a whole bunch of nuts. Sometimes I'll add pumpkin seeds or something, unsweetened, of course, and it just makes it a little bit healthier. So. Mama, have you ever heard of pumpkin bread? Pumpkin bread I have. And then these you saw in the video. So Trader Joe's has the huge ones, but they're not the most attractive things. So I'm thinking where you're going to put this in the bathroom, <laughs> and then maybe even in my car, because my car actually smells really good just from driving home with that in it. And then organic apples, I love this little bag. Just make sure you look at all the apples. Sometimes they can be pretty bruised. And that is it for this bag. Give the back some. All right, two back, two back. All right, one more bag here, more squash. I love this kind of squash, it's spaghetti squash. I will have to do a video on how you prepare it, but basically slice it in half, Put it upside down in a glass full of water. Just a little bit of water is fine, just enough to make sure the bottom is covered so the skin is up, the open face is down. You roast it, scoot over, sweet pea. You roast it for like, I don't know, 30 minutes on 400, maybe a little bit longer. But you wanna make sure that when you touch the outside, it kind of squishes down and you'll know it's ready. I like to mix it with regular noodles, which is really good. And then more of the pumpkins. Yeah, I would get this one. We bought some maple syrup. My kids love themselves a waffle, so. Yeah. And then avocados. Avocados. If you saw my short on avocados, there's certain ways to know if they're right, so make sure to check that out. And then organic sweet potatoes. We eat the skin, so you wanna buy organic if you do eat skin. I do not eat skin. Mm -hmm. I do. It's very healthy, lots of fiber. And then cotton candy grapes. So these ones are a little bit smaller in size yeah. than the last ones we bought, but so, so good. As I've said before, I'm not a huge fan of grapes. I could eat a ton of these. I really could. They're so yummy. All right, putting this away and we'll be back. Okay, so we had to take a quick break. Kaya wanted some Huffins cereal. It is lunchtime right now over there and then I'm making some avocado toast with some egg on top and Cannon's eating some bread also it's keto bread so there are like lots of seeds and whatnot so while that is cooking I will continue with the grocery haul all right let's get into the next bag I bought some whole wheat buns we eat lots of veggie burgers hamburgers chicken burgers fish burgers <laughs> um, different kinds of things, salmon. Fish sounds kind of gross. Salmon burgers. I like their whole wheat buns. You can't really find whole wheat buns that many places. And these are a bit smaller. A lot of times the buns are huge. They're not the healthiest thing in the world, but again, moderation and finding something that works. 
You want something without corn syrup. So the first ingredient in here, in here is stone ground wheat as opposed to super processed wheat or white flour, something like that. So that's a good choice. And then we love these quinoa and black bean tortilla chips. They're really good. Oh, another pumpkin. <laughs> this again is just for decoration. I believe you can cook with those, but again, I don't really love the flavor, so not doing it. Organic rolled oats, these are delicious. I love that these have amaranth, they have quinoa, they have chia seeds and flax seeds in them. So a lot of extra fiber and protein, healthy fats, all the good things. I usually add a lot of that myself in my oatmeal if you've seen any of my recipes, but sometimes it's just easier to pour this in, do overnight oats with this, especially if you're in a rush. And then love these banana chips. They are freeze dried, so they're really light and airy. Kim can eat these, especially to throw in the bag or something. He loves bananas, but I'm not gonna give him a banana in my car or in a stroller or anything like that because they're just an absolute mess and disaster. So these are great. And then cashews. I like to buy the ones with less salt because I give them to the kids. My kids love cashews, so I got those. And then finally, some honey. This is local honey. If you can, always buy local honey because they're picking at the flowers and getting all of their nectar from the flowers around you, which is where your allergies come from if you have allergies. So if you take about a tablespoon of this a day, it really does help with allergies. It builds up those natural immunities, which I am all for building up natural immunities as opposed to other ways that people like to fight their immunities. We won't go into that now, but yes. Love honey, great natural sweetener. Speaking of bananas, we got some bananas for Canon. Another little one of those guys. And then strawberries, like I said, strawberry season is coming to an end. This is like nine bucks for this thing, but they look actually pretty good. I made some chia pudding, I wanna put those in. And then I bought one pomegranate. I have a really good hack to get the seeds out that I wanna share, so I bought that to do that with. And then zero sugar reads. I really, really like this ginger ale. I bought it for me. I'm gonna stick one in the fridge right now. It's really, really spicy and strong. Great for digestion. And the fact that there's no sugar, what do they use? They use stevia, monk fruit, aricatol, all natural sweeteners. And it's the blend. So when something has a blend in it, it tastes a lot better than if it's just one of those, like just stevia, for example. These are really, really good. Set to the side. Take the eggs off for a sec. Oh, and then heirloom tomatoes. I love heirloom tomatoes and I love baby tomatoes and colorful ones. So this fits the bill for all the above. Heirloom is just the kind of seeds that are used, just in case you're wondering, people are like, what are heirloom? It's just their seeds, how they develop them. Anyhow, they taste really, really good. Usually they're not the best shape. Sometimes they're kind of odd and funky, but they taste better in my opinion. And all for those. Right, two more bags. Another thing of bananas. Some shredded kale. I'm a big fan of kale. This is great to saute, put in the air fryer. The fact that all the ribs are taken out, which is like the thick stalk in the middle, makes it a lot easier to cook with and eat. Organic zucchini. I am always using zucchini, shredding it, putting it in practically every single meal. So that is a must. And then these little tiny organic baby cucumbers. My kids love these. I mean, they'll easily eat a whole one. So they just go bad pretty quickly. So you need to eat them quickly. Oh, Cannon has a glass. <laughs> no, sorry, buddy. All right, that's an easy way to break a plate right there. Some colorful cauliflower. I love roasting this. I've even eating it with hummus. I bought some hummus. Right here. I may have that today because again, it's still really hot outside and just to have like a healthy snack, dinner kind of thing. Especially when I'm going to pick up my daughter at gymnastics and I don't really have time to make a meal, sit down and eat it. And then sockeye salmon. So a lot of salmon that you buy is Alaskan, which usually means that there's artificial dyes and stuff in it. This is wild caught salmon. Sorry, did I say Alaskan? I meant Atlantic. Yes, Atlantic salmon is a no-go. Alaskan salmon, yes. Yes, because it's wild. So this I'm going to put on top of my, um, my keto-friendly toast that I'm making right now with avocado. And then shrimp 
is delicious coconut shrimp. This is for my husband and my son mainly. They really like that. Again, there's only three grams of sugar, 11 grams of protein. And there is soybean oil, which again, isn't the best, but non-GMO. So Trader Joe's doesn't sell anything that has GMOs in it. So it's better than if you would go to another brand, for example. And then organic bell peppers on the Dirty Dozen list. Always buy organic. These jicama wraps are really, really yummy. And then I don't know why I bought these, but they're really pretty. And I just wanted a little treat. Every other treat my family eats like this. So I wanted something that I could enjoy. It kind of makes you feel fancy. And finally, the very last bag. All right, buddy. So the pumpkin spice granola. I'm really excited about this. I will show you guys in the store. So this is the one that they normally have. They only have this this time of year. I love pumpkin spice. I don't love pumpkin. There's a difference. Pumpkin spice and pumpkin. Love pumpkin spice. This is really, really good. And then just some more granola. Oh, I'm making my own almond milk. So I needed to buy almonds. I did buy one thing that has pumpkin in it. This is for my husband, my son. I, you know, I mean, if they love pumpkin, great. It's just not my thing. So I needed to be a little faster. So we got those. And then some cultivated wild rice. So wild rice is actually a seed, if I recall. It's not really rice rice. So I'm excited about this. There's seven grams of protein, three grams of fiber. And then some pitted prunes, great for digestion. My son actually really likes these. And sometimes he does have some issues with digestion, mainly because he eats things he shouldn't. But anyhow, one of those a day, two a day is good. It's kind of sweet. And then organic black beans. It's nice to have those on hand. I like to do a quinoa salad and put those in it with some cut up bell peppers and stuff. Mango if I have it. Okay, almost done, buddy. And then this chili lime seasoning blend is really, really good. I like to put it on corn with a little bit of avocado mayo, but it's really good on other stuff. Too. And then finally, the very last thing is this sparkling water. I'm really thirsty. Hopefully it doesn't explode everywhere. I love sparkling water and Trader Joe's does have some really good flavors. This is great mixed with alcohol, actually. I'm not a huge drinker, but when I do, I like to do more of like natural kind of cocktails, like natural flavors and whatnot. Great choice. So anyway, thank you guys so much for joining our Welcome to Fall Grocery Haul. I hope you found something that you like and make sure to stick around for some of my other videos. I will use some of these ingredients. So stay tuned and we'll see you guys later.